the day after the big game. Just as many people are talking about the commercials as they are the big plays. Tim Kasuf of G1440 joins us now with a look at some of the commercials from yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So overall, did you think that the that the commercials were good? I mean, we're of we're of different opinions around here this sure, morning. Sure, sure. Well, the opinions leaving the Super Bowl party that I was at uh, was that everything was pretty lackluster. Yeah. Nobody was really too impressed. There were a couple of highlights and things we were looking forward to but really just not up to par from what we remembered. I know, I, that's what I thought too. Okay, so in your opinion, what were a couple of the best? Sure, I think Doritos really nailed it. And that they was did funny. A, they did a really great job. They had two really good commercials mm -hmm. that were very memorable, but really the key with Super Bowl advertisements is not just to be memorable, but so that you remember what they're advertising. So Doritos really incorporated the products. You can see the one they're showing right now where he mm -hmm. bites the chips and it's involved in the commercial, which is <laughs> yes. again a, a, a big key there. So not only do you leave that going, man, that was funny, you leave that going, ah, I remember what they were selling. Okay, so what's the second one? You said Doritos was number one. Well, this one was good, and then there was the other Doritos commercial with the crystal ball. Uh-huh. Um, really, and then a lot of the other commercials that were getting big press was the uh, the Budweiser commercials with the Clydesdales. Yes. We really didn't like those, though. I was I mean, they were cute. I wasn't all that mm -hmm. impressed. Another one I was kind of disappointed in was the, the Choi Palomalu commercial. I was expecting something big from that. Right, the Mean Joe Green spoof. And it's always hard when you take such a classic, a commercial, mm -hmm that's been part of Americana right. and try to redo that. And I thought they, they tried to make a twist on it, make it a little different, and I really don't think it met our expectations. And what about the one-second commercials? I was expecting to see them all throughout, and really, you didn't. No, no, we didn't at all, actually. There was one uh, one-second commercial shown. Mm -hmm. It was just a, a truck driver saying, high life, and then right. it went away. And I think they fulfilled their burden of showing them because they talked about it so much. Yeah. But the anticipation was really all that happened there. We did, uh, at G1440, we have the ability to look at web, website traffic and okay. see what, what's going on. And one thing that uh, I noticed this morning in some quick research is that uh, the, actually the tr website traffic to onesecondad.com, the website they have dedicated to all those ads, was double the website traffic to MillerHighLife.com. So they served the purpose. In, in two weeks it grew yeah. to that. So yeah, they, they accomplished their goal of just getting the, the word out and using press to do that. And how much money was spent on commercials? It was actually day? a record-breaking number again. NBC uh, collected $206 million in ad revenue, which That's is amazing. the highest it's ever been. Well, my favorite commercial still didn't make it in. I like the potato head commercial, <laughs> the, the woman's mouth going down the cliff. I Every thought that man's was hysterical. Dream. <laughs> and that was what made it funny to me. Sure. All right, Tim, thank you so much. No problem. 7.58 is the time. You're watching Fox 45 Morning News, all local, all morning.